Good morning, everyone. Mike from CCTV Camera Pros here. Today, I want to tell you about a unique project that I'm doing at my house. That IP camera that you see behind me, I'm using that as a construction time-lapse camera. Uh, we're, we're getting ready to start construction of a, a pool at my house today. They're going to come and dig uh, the hole for the pool. And um, I wanted to tell you about how I'm using a Viewtron IP camera and I'm going to capture time-lapse photos and video of the entire project. So um, my background is in software engineering. So before Greg and I started CCTV Camera Pros and right after I got out of the Marine Corps, uh, I worked as a software developer for about 10 years uh, developing uh, internet and e-commerce applications. Uh, so I, I still like to tinker with software development when I get the opportunity and this was kind of a fun little project that I threw together. So here's how it works. Basically, um, that IP camera is still recording to the Viewtron NVR and working for as a security system for my house. But what's nice about IP cameras is uh, they're full-blown computers. They have a built-in web server and, and, they, and most of them, the Viewtron cameras have a software application uh, interface, a uh, development kit. One of the functions with these IP cameras is, is you can make a call to a URL and grab a snapshot image whenever you want. So what I did was uh, I wrote a program in Python, right? I, I, I have a server uh, in the cloud, oops, a web server in the cloud where I have a Python application running. And that Python application basically is going to grab a snapshot every five minutes during the day when there's construction going on. And, and I may lower that interval down to a minute when there's more construction, or I may, if there's nothing going on for a couple of days, I may raise that to 30 minutes or 40 minutes or something when there's not much going on. So the images are captured and serialized. So they're put in order in a directory on the server. Okay, so then uh, the next thing that the program does, and I'll, I'll call this a bot because I have it running autonomously. It's just constantly running on the server. I don't have to do anything to manage this now that it's set up. So the bot once a day is gonna take all those images and compile it into a time-lapse video, okay? And now there, there's, a, now there's a bunch of images in, the, in a directory and now I have a video in a directory. The next thing the bot does is once a day, it's going to take that video and upload it to YouTube. So, so this bot, this Python bot, is integrated with the Twitter API and the YouTube API. Uh, so the next thing it does is it, it grabs that video, uploads it to YouTube, okay? And then uh, the last thing it does is it's going to take uh, the, the, the YouTube video and connect to the Twitter API and post once a day, here's the update of Mike's pool construction. And that, that Twitter post is gonna have a snapshot image of the, the latest still photo, and then a link to the time-lapse photo, uh, sorry, the time-lapse video on YouTube. So you could click on the link and see the time-lapse progress up to the day of what's going on here. Um, I'll eventually upload all of this source code to GitHub. So if anyone wants to use it, uh, it's not going to be it, it, it's going to be for developers to tinker with. It'll be difficult for a non-developer to use this. So so don't expect this to be super simple to set up. I didn't set out to create like a service uh, for CCTV camera pros to do this. Although it is a really good idea. Um, for now, it's just going to be a little open source fun project that I'll let other people download and use if they want to. Um, I'll, I'll make a blog post with links to all this information. Uh, actually, we'll say that that's going to be at cctvcamerapros.com slash bot. Uh, so that's where I'll put all the details of this project, cctvcamerapros slash bot. And then on Twitter, the account that this is going to be posted to is going to be uh, Twybot, T-W-Y bot. T -W -Y -bot. Uh, that's kind of a legacy name. I registered that years ago when I was tinkering with time lapse uh, years ago using a Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's just an old account that I have that I'm going to use for this. And I'll also retweet these posts uh, on the CCTV Camera Pros account. So on Twitter, you can follow us at CCTV Camera Pros and, and see how this is working. Um, if you have any questions about this, again, I, I can't provide like tech support for software development. <clears throat> 
But if you have any general questions about using IP cameras in this way, uh, these Vutron cameras are excellent. Uh, I, I switched over at my house uh, a while back from, from uh, analog cameras with coax to these Vutron IP cameras. Uh, these are all AI cameras. And again, my security system is still working as is with these cameras recording to an NVR. Uh, it's nice that I can also pull these images from this particular camera uh, and do this software integration like this. But anyways, if you have questions, you can email me at mike at cctvcamerapros.net. And again, I'll document in more detail this uh, software bot project, uh, you know, time-lapse construction camera thing that I'm doing here at cctvcamerapros.com slash bot. Thanks for watching.